So here's a quick demo of the hover bike scene. What we're looking at is the Blender 2.8 version, which has been optimized to be used with EV and collections and a bunch of the new features in 2.8. So here's a fairing collection that we can turn on and off and get a nice intimate view of all the guts in here. And um, there's also this charger with, with a couple of pipes to uh, fuel it up. And then also there's a couple different lighting setups included. So here's the white light setup, which is just a simple studio light kind of moving back and forth. So if you go to view and then camera, active camera, and you'll see what's going on from the same camera views that this animation was made out of. So you can kind of make your own version of the animation if you wanted to. By, for example, you could change the color of the paint. Over here. Change the saturation. Change the value. There's also these different accent colors you can adjust. You can also copy, if you go Control C, Control V, you can copy and paste. So this is the Chrome here. If you want them to be the same, Control C, Control V, paste that. And there you go. There's also a different color setup here. If I turn that white color lights off and then turn on the lights color, these are the lights that we used in the animation, the commercial you just saw. So if I go into camera view, this, these are the actual lights from the commercial. So um, a little background on this project. It started off as an original design that I did with my friend uh, Kirk Shinmoto. We wanted to do a ca cafe racer style hover bike and also we wanted to do uh, a model kit. So this turned into a 1 8 scale model kit um, made from resin and silicone molds. It took us about two years to do and we sold about 30 copies of the kit with the with the instructions and the box and bags and everything and then uh, the molds started to fall apart and they were basically useless. So anyway the physical life of this thing is is over but I thought this would be cool as a digital product so here it is and you can get this in the links below there's a 2.8 version and a 2.79 version um, included and also the STL print files that we use to make the physical kit are included so if you have a 3d printer and you want to make something like this or to make this actual kit you could do it. And it's designed to basically fit on a regular print, bread, print bed. So this, this should work on uh, most 3D printers. It's about 80 parts, I think. So yeah, I hope uh, you'll have fun playing around with this model and this scene. And hope you enjoy it. Bye.